Hi, my name is Mike Senna. I'd like to today show you my latest purchase. It's a bomb disposal robot. Uh, it's actually used in the military. It's a Talon IV. Uh, what I want to show you in this part of the video is um, basically the unboxing. So when I got it delivered here, it came in two boxes. The top box here has the controller and some accessories. And the bottom box here has the actual bomb disposal robot. So let's look inside this, uh, this controller box. This box is a lot lighter. Uh, and what we have in here is different accessories like um, this spool is for the optical cable that this one didn't come with. What that does is it gives you a direct link instead of a, a remote control link to control the robot. Uh, extra cables. Uh, power supply to power the, the main controller unit. Um, a uh, thing that looks like a fishing rod that um, control that uh, holds the optical cable. And then a very interesting video antenna amplifier. Take a quick peek in here and then go into detail later. So here's the antenna that we can extend out, but here you'll see all the little controls that we'll go over and I'll show you uh, what each one of these do uh, when we have the robot up and running. So let's get into the bottom box. So this is the bottom box. This one has the uh, the actual robot in here. Uh, these two antennas usually fold down uh, during storage, but you'll see some of the accessories it has here. We'll show you how they attach the clamp, the all important clamp, and uh, light, but total of three cameras here. We have a front reverse and or the front of the droid, the back of the droid, or robot. And um, the arm, there's a camera on the arm as well. So let's lift this out of here. So to lift this out, there's two handles, one in the front here, and there's one in the back there. And I'm guessing this weighs about 80 pounds. So it lifts out. And goes down. So the first thing we're going to do after it's out of the box is raise these arms. Um, you just have to pull them physically out of here. And they have to be pulled pretty far because you'll want to put the batteries inside of this compartment here. There you go. So there's this little claw. And it's pretty easy. This whole part of the claw goes into this clamp. And this, at this point, this becomes fixed on this wrist. This wrist will turn and the arm will move, but this part of the joint will not tilt at all. So we would look for this gripper mast and we find the other one that says gripper. And we pull like these two together. And then 
next is the camera for this one, which mounts right here. So you'll have the point of view. And the next camera is this camera here. Which mounts here and these are nice quick dis disconnects with the button that pulls in these little ball bearings. So give it a quick connect. And this connection here. Uh, so there is the assembly for the Here's the rear camera, goes on the rear of the robot. Uh, there's a mounting point here. Uh, it goes in pretty much the same way as the, the camera on the claw. Put in this tube. And the connector is right here. Again, they're marked rear camera. So the next one is the mast camera. This camera here will show the, uh, the, the view from the rear to the front. So you'll see the arm and everything in front of the machine. So this would be a nice camera to drive by. Also has the pin clips. Top part of this is a light for this, just in case you're doing some night bomb disposals. And then the plugs. Uh, so we put this one onto the camera, rear the camera. And uh, this one for the light. So basically there is your Talon 4 without the batteries but ready to go and now we'll set up the command center. So this is the command center for the robot. Uh, like I showed you before, this is the main antenna. And we see various buttons and things here, which we'll have to install the battery for. So in my next video, I'll be showing you the batteries and the battery power, how everything plugs in, and how we start doing the uh, initial checks and operate the robot.